Well, let's talk headlamps and which ones to buy. I only like rechargeable headlamps. I don't like having to have batteries around, so I definitely recommend rechargeable headlamps. The two that I have and that I've used, this one right here is a Fox Ellie. I like it, I've only had this one for about six months. But I really like it so far. It's got a deflector on it, so when you put it down, it's like a floodlight and it illuminates a big area. When you have it up, it's more of a spotlight. It works really good at nighttime. If you're going to get firewood, when I get home from work, I can go feed the chickens. We don't have lights out in a greenhouse for them. Just turn my headlamp on. Taking the dog out, it works really good. If I gotta work on my truck, put the plow on at night when it's dark, grab my headlamp. The other one I have that works good, I've had this one for about four or five years now. Another rechargeable one. It's a Coast. This one's got the dimmer switch built right in back here. And this one you can adjust the beam. This one I like for working. I'm a mechanic, so I usually use it all the time when I'm working on a car. No matter where I'm working, my light's shining. I don't have to worry about having a flashlight in my mouth or anything. I always have it. For outside, it's not as good. It doesn't have the floodlight mode as a Fox Ellie. The one I use every day, still going strong. So the Fox Ellie, I'd recommend this one for homesteading. And price-wise, you can't beat it, $29.97. It's an awesome price. I don't know longevity-wise how long it's gonna last. My Coast, I've had these for five years now and they've lasted. This one doesn't get used every day. The one I do use every day is pretty well beaten up, but it still goes. The battery lasts. I haven't had to replace any of the batteries yet. So I know this one lasts. I know the longevity of them. They'll be good. But for homesteading and outdoor use, hiking, I would definitely recommend the Fox Ellie, especially with the floodlight option. I really like that. Hey, get over here. That was just my crazy dog. I thought I had to show you. She's a nut, she loves running. Um, but yeah, the Fox Ellie, I definitely recommend if you're homesteading or outdoor use. If you're working with your hands, yeah, it's nice, but there's no focusing beam. So like when I'm working under a car, if you're working in a tight spot under a cabinet or anything, this would be nice. It's, we'll wear two at once. It's a focuser. So you can focus in on it and not. The floodlight option on the Fox Ellie is really good. Fox Ellie floodlight, Fox Ellie spotlight. I basically make in the video to share with you guys which one to get, which one's a good one, my experience. I hate buying something and then regretting it or being like, that thing was a piece of garbage. I just wasted my money, time to throw it away. So just making the video to share with you guys and let you know what has worked for me and why I like them. You don't have to go buy these ones. Do your own research, check it out, see what you like. The Fox Ellie has worked awesome, and so is the Coast. The Coast that I'm talking about is the HL7R. It's the rechargeable one. This one's $47.99 on Amazon, I believe. They have a couple other ones that are not rechargeable. This one is, I believe it's their most expensive one, but it's rechargeable. If you don't want to spend $47.99, and I don't think I would, uh, for, it's definitely for homesteading. I would get the Fox Ellie. It's got a battery indicator on the side. Plug it in, it comes with two USB cords. Five different settings. Um, doesn't tell you on high how long it'll last or low, but it says it's 100, it says it'll last 100 hours, the battery life. I am assuming that's on low. They don't talk about it. 280 lumens is ultra bright, and it also has like an SOS where it's a blinking strobe light. Well, the Coast HL7R, um, it's 240 lumens. It'll go on high for an hour and a half. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. There's gonna be a link down below for the two different headlamps you can get off Amazon. I'll also put a link over there if you click on it. You can buy anything on Amazon and a little bit of the commission will go to us. It doesn't cost you anything else. It's just another way you can help and promote our channel for us. Pass the link along. Anybody can buy anything off of it. It doesn't cost them anything. Amazon just gives us a little bit of a commission. And if you want to hear reviews on anything else, leave in the comments below. I was thinking about doing a let's talk about on snow tires. I don't know how many of you guys are in an area where you would need snow tires slash winter tires. We do. I could review a few, go over the pointers of a snow tire, what you want to look for in a snow tire, and what you don't. So let me know in the comments below if you think that'd be interesting, if you'd like to hear about snow tires. 
thanks for watching and if you clicked on the link we really appreciate it and we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres. Let's talk about headlamps baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the pros and the cons that I can think of maybe.